Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We have a requested Pokemon here in Volby. We're going with a supporting build and the bug type Terror with the health item leftovers, which restores 6.25% of our health at the end of every turn. You can get this from the Cascrafa Deli Bro Shop. Max EVs in defense and special defense. We have the Impish Nature, which is up in defense, down in special attack. You want Max IVs in everything except the attacking stats. You don't really need it there. And then Prankster, which gives us priority on status moves, so Moonlight in this case. Struggle Bug to lower special attack, Lunge to lower attack, and Mud Slap to lower accuracy. So the opponent can miss a lot more. Helps out your team a lot, so it's going to be a damage nullifying build kind of thing with the ability to heal yourself. What we're going to do is I've got uh, someone to hop in raids with me. It's going to be Presno, and uh, we're just going to do two raids. I'll show you how good the damage nullifying is. He'll do the damage, we'll spot. Simple as that. So we're just going to get into a raid here. It's going to be a 6 star flying type Magmortar. It's not ideal because we can't use Mudslap, but we're just going to get into it and see how good we can do. I'll be right back when we have Presno. Okay, so we do have Presno. He's going to go as Belly Bolt. Very nice pick for this raid. And we're just going to ready up and then get straight into it. We're going to nullify damage. Presno is going to do damage. It's going to be over relatively quick, I would imagine. Let's begin. Okay, we have an Arcanine. That's amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mag oh, Magmortar is using Taunt on us. Interesting. I forgot to check Magmortar. Let me check it real quick. I'm pretty sure it has special attacking moves. So I'm going to use Struggle Bug. Let me double check that though. To, uh, have I tried our idea? So 6 star. It's a flying type Terror. So yeah, it's just got uh, special attacking moves. It does have a very strong uh, special attacking moves. Because uh, we're a bug type. It's a, it's a fire type. So that's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit questionable, but we're just trying to get that damage as little as possible so Presnell can just focus on setting up and doing loads of damage. There we go, special attack drops even more. So it uses Lava Plume. As you can see, it's doing less damage this time. I'm surprised it's not burned us yet. Ooh, it's using Sunny Day. Interesting. So what I'm going to do here, uh, get some health back from Leftovers to start with. So it gets us a little bit back. I'm going to use Moonlight. Oh, can't use it after the plan. Right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a hang tough cheer because funny day's just gone up So uh, it's going to be doing a lot of damage with them fire type attacks So I want to make sure that our team's ready for those attacks. We shouldn't go down from this. We don't. Does it burn us? 30% chance. No, it doesn't. We get some health back from leftovers and now we're going to use Moonlight because Talent won't be on us anymore There we go. We get half of our health back now it's a bit awkward because Sunny Day is up and Magmort is a very strong Pokemon. Uh, so it doesn't do too much actually. We survived that very well. It does burn us, but not that much of an issue. Uh, I'm just hoping it doesn't really uh, do too much damage and remove negative effects because that'll be really bad. So uh, we're going to use Struggle Bug again. There it is. There's Struggle Bug. If we go down uh, once or. Uh, if we go down once in the trade, it doesn't matter too much. What we're after is just nullifying damage as much as possible for our Presno. Okay, so it hits us with a Lava Plume. Shield goes up. Uh, we are burnt. It'll probably take us down to like 10 health, and then we'll go back up to... We'll go back up a little bit. So uh, nullifies, that's fine. I think we're faster than Magmota anyway. Uh, I guess we can risk it. Uh, okay, so Presno has terrestrialized. So we're going to use Moonlight. Yep, we're pretty much we're faster anyway, even without the prankster. Okay, there's the moonlight. We get a lot of health back. He's a lava flame. There we go. He does damage to us. Uh, his shield breaks, which is completely amazing. We managed to get some a good da damage away because of Presno. We're gonna use struggle bug here. Usually, I would go in public lobbies uh, with four people, but I figured I'd just get uh, one other person and we could just get into the raid quick. There we go, get some help back with that. Okay, and now it uh, looks like the raid's pretty much over. I'll probably use a go out out here, because this will probably be the last one. Okay, there we go. So now Presno can deal even more damage. I'm guessing Thunderbolt will finish it off here. Doesn't really matter if we go down here. We don't, because we used to bug before. Amazing. And the sun's gone now, so it's barely doing any damage. Let's see. Uh, so I imagine Thunderbolt is coming yet. There we go, Thunderbolt finishes it off. Boom, and the raid's over. It, I don't think we went down there either. No, we didn't. Five health. Five health. Easy. We didn't go down against a Magmortar that had Sunny Day and Lava Plume. Amazing. 
So now what we're going to do is we're not going to catch it. We're just going to take scavenge whatever you want to call it. It's mystica because I demand a spicy mystica right here. Boom. Oh, we didn't get one. Oh, well, let's move on to the second raid. Oh, we have a tougher one here. This is actually a really difficult raid, so it'll be interesting what happens in this one. I'm going to invite Presno again. It's going to be a six star fairy type Snorlax. It has yawn. It's got like really good defenses. It's just a troublesome Pokemon just in general. So we're going to invite Presno and we'll get started. Okay, we're pretty much good to go. It definitely didn't take uh, Presno around eight minutes and nearly three full cycles of a link code to find his Pokemon. And uh, don't ask him about it because it definitely didn't happen. Uh, let's get straight into it. Looks like he's going to be using Venusaur. Let's begin. Okay, we have two Intimidate users. That's going to be helpful. If we've got two Intimidate users, I might just use Mudslap. Honestly, so it's uh, more likely to miss uh, some moves. Because it does have some dangerous moves. There's one. Heavy Slam. Okay. Not too much damage. Can't believe we got two Intimidate users. That's amazing. So uh, we get a little bit of help out there. We're just going to keep using Mudslap then. And Mudslap and Acid Spray. What a combo. There's the second one slap. I'm pretty sure Snorlax removes negative effect from itself a lot in this raid. Okay, we're already starting to miss. Yep, there's the remove negative effects. So now that it's removed negative effects, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to have to really keep up with this, actually. This is painful. Is, is Venusaur asleep? Can't tell. Is its eyes open? You know what? We'll attack it. It doesn't have the sleep symbol next to it. I don't think it's asleep. Not yet, anyway. I know that Arcanine's asleep because its eyes are closed. Is Venusaur's eyes closed? I can't tell from here. Okay. Venusaur's asleep. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I'm gonna use Cheer. I'm gonna do a Heal Cheer. So the people will wake up. There we go. Okay, we get some health back. Venusaur's gonna get back to its Acid Sprays. This actually might be difficult because of the amount of times it removes negative effects from itself. I only just remembered as soon as we started the raid. Okay, heavy slam. That's not going to do too much. No. It's not going to do damage to us. But the problem is it's just going to constantly sleep us and remove negative effects from itself. So uh, I wonder what I can do here. I'm, g I'm just going to use Mud Slap here. So it's uh, more likely to attack. I mean, more li likely to miss attacks. Uses Yawn. That's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm not even going to use Heal Cheers. Uh, until Venusaur goes to sleep. I can't really tell when Venusaur goes to sleep, I'll just have to look out for the symbol. Okay, we use Lunge again. I'm going to use Lunge this time, just to lower that attack. Okay, there we go. It drops its attack. We will go to sleep now. It uses Heavy Slam, misses. Okay, that's amazing. Oh, Venusaur is asleep, so we use a Heal Chain now. And I'm guessing it's going to use the uh, Crystallize and Sludge Bomb. Maybe? Hopefully, uh, hopefully it does. Yeah, there's the threshold eyes. So it, I, I was looking and thinking that was the third acid spray, right? So we are a uh, poison type terror Venusaur now that should do a lot of damage. Sludge bomb. Let's see how much damage we got. It'll probably remove after the damage. Okay, so the shield health went up, so I imagine it did a decent amount of damage. Ooh, not that much actually. It does have insanely high special defense. There it is, removing negative effects again. This Pokemon's a pain. It's just a big pain. Maybe it would have been better to go for uh, a Pokemon that uh, rolls its own stats, or boosts its own stats, should I say. Uh, the raids are kind of at a standstill at the minute. Don't let me do anything. Okay, I'm going to use Lunge to get its attack back down. There it is. Because uh, Snorlax does have a relatively high attack. There's uh, the Acid Spray. Yeah, it's doing about 50 damage. Would have done more if I didn't do that. We get some back with the leftovers, though. Boom. Uh, we get put to sleep. Uh, both asleep again. Okay, this is the last chair that we have. Okay, Venusaur is back to the acid sprays after uh, we do manage to wake everyone up. Ooh, this is actually rough. And I'm not sure whether we'll win this or not just because if it keeps cleansing at the speed that it is doing, it could be quite rough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just mud slap them. Now, I don't know whether Mudslap can actually affect Yarn. I don't know whether Yarn's 100% accuracy it just hits all the time or not. But I guess we'll find out. Okay, we get some help out, but we pretty much get put to sleep there. Ooh, that's unfortunate. We have no more heals. But I guess we'll just keep using Mudslap. Uh, pass the sleep. Hopefully this does a lot of damage to Sludge Bomb. Let's see. 
Okay, we've caught back up. That's good. Don't remove. Let us catch up again. Please don't remove negative effect. Now this is a very frustrating Pokemon to play against. All the, all the horrors that came back. All the uh, bad memories from uh, fighting Snarlax. Okay, we woke up turn two. That's great. We're going to use Mud Slap here. Uh, just to lower that accuracy. In hopes that it makes a Yarn fail. I know that it'll make uh, Heavy Slams miss. Okay, is that a... Uh... Oh, that's a heal, so it looks like Presnel started using heals. That's good. Mud Slap again, which as many Mud Slap as possible. We want to see if a Yarn fails the more we use them. Okay, so Heavy Slam did a lot of damage. Did a critical hit. Sludge Bomb removed negative effects from itself. Did it do that before or after the Sludge Bomb? It's like it did it uh, after, so that's not too bad. Okay, now we go back to using Mud Slaps. Honestly, this is a, this is a long process. Because uh, uh, we can't really, in this particular raid, all we can do is just keep Snorlax's attack low and just hope for the best. Oh, it is burnt. And uh, I shouldn't have used Lunge because it was burnt. I didn't, I'd already clicked it though. Looks like uh, the actual Arcanine had used a Flamethrower and burnt it. So it's burnt and we got its attack down by one. The the bird, what's it called? Staraptor. did go down, so I'll Intimidate will activate when it comes back. And now we're going to use Mud, mud Slap again. The good thing is that when we take down its shield, we get one free turn to just do what we want. Okay, so that's the second heal from Presno. This should be a close one. But we avoid an attack because we use Mud Slap. I'm guessing, was that the second heal from Presno? I thought, yeah, there we go. There it is, the green mark. Second heal from Presno. I'm just going to keep using Mud Slap. So Acid Spray comes out. Is that going to break the shield, that one? Because he's crystallized. Ooh, ooh. No, it's not. Okay. So one more. Oh, facade, because it's burnt, but we avoid it because we have been using Mud Slap, and we'll keep using Mud Slap. Can we break the shield with Mud Slap? No. I think uh, one of the... Oh, the AI didn't quite break it either. Sad. Misses. I'm hoping it keeps using Facade because it's burnt instead of Yarn. The shield is broke, so I'm guessing Presnell broke it. Uh, now we're going to use... We're just going to keep using Mud Slap. Keep it. We have, an, we have a free attack here, and as long as it doesn't remove negative effects, then we've pretty much done the raid. If it does, it might be a close one. So we use Mud Slap. Okay, there we go. A little Mud Slap with a tail there. That, that's disrespectful, doing it with a tail. Sludge Bomb, how much damage is this going to do? Ooh, it, did it remove negative effects? It has now. This is the pain. Uh, I guess... I guess we just keep at it. Uh, I'm just going to use Lunge to lower its attack, because it just did that. If it gets a crit on Presno, then, uh, then that'll be trouble. Just keep using Sludge Bomb at this point. Ooh, don't think we've done it. Okay, so we get some health back. This, yeah, this Pokemon's a big pain. Okay, so I just guess we should go back to Mud Slap. And it uh, kicks us out. Okay, avoid, avoided the attack. Yeah, I don't think we got that. Nope. I'm going to use Lunge anyway, because it's our most powerful move. Uh, in hopes that uh, it lets Presno use one more attack. It will be a close one. Uh, we get hit with a heavy slam. Does Presno get one more attack? Or does it just kick us out? Okay, there's a sludge bomb. Come on, crit. Crit. But we get another attack, apparently. Come on. Come on, AI. Do your thing. Don't kick us out. After all the yarns you've used on us, I refuse to believe you're going to kick us out. Just let us finish the raid. Come on. The timer? There is no timer. Damn it. We get kicked out. Okay guys, uh, so that was the second raid, but I refuse to accept defeat, and I think Presno feels the same. So I'm going to scam the entire video and change what we're going to change. We're going to change just for this raid. Uh, we're going to change Mud Slap or Substitute. I'm scamming the video. There we go, we're changing mid-battle. Like, uh, if you come against the nine Pokemon, you can change to Tarn, Ankle, and Substitute if you really want to. That's what I'm doing, scamming the entire video. You've never seen anything like it, but it has to be done sometimes. But yeah, this raid's gonna have a fr this build. This video is gonna have a free raids because I don't know if you saw recently, but we got scammed a couple of times because of crits. I'm not getting scammed this time. We are beating the snow. Like, let's start the raid. He's gonna go as Golden Go this time. Because then he's got Nasty Plot and he doesn't have to keep reapplying these um, drops because he removes all the time. Let's begin. 
Let's see you yarn us now, Mr. Snorlax. Honestly, this game can make you uh, go from loving a Pokemon to absolutely despising it. Our raiders. Right, we uh, we are using substitute, so we can't get yawned. There we go. Can't yawn us now. Is it gonna try? I'm just using heavy slam. Didn't even try to yawn us. Dude, do we substitute up damage for Vault? Oh, it didn't take us out though. Amazing. And now we're gonna use lunch. He's physically can't yawn us, I don't think, because we're a substitute. So that's fun. I know, I know, we're breaking the rules. We're changing the move mid-match. Mid but for that extra move, you can either go... Ooh, facade. You can go substitute, you can go taunt, you can go yeet on encore. And you can go... What's that other move? The original one, mud slap. Okay, so he does uh, end up uh, breaking our substitute. I'm just going to go substitute and then start using lunge when we're in the substitute. So uh, Presno can take as little damage as possible. Maybe it would have been... Oh, yawn. There, there we go. Failed. Failed. How does it feel, Snorlax? I think he nullif not nullified. He cleansed himself about five times last raid. Okay, there's the cleanse. What we're going to do is we're going to use lunge. There we go. I, I, honestly, I've never used substitute in a raid before. This is hilarious. I, I, it's pretty cool, actually. I never thought I'd use substitute. we got a use for it. We go, we're doing some damage there. Heavy slam? Nope. You shall not break thou substitute. Wait, is he gonna break it? No, he's not. Takes him two attacks to break it. Takes us one attack to apply it. Okay, the shield goes up. Just so as long as I get one lunge away, then I'm pretty sure I'm fine. So uh, he removes negative effects, so we'll reapply the lunge. If we if there's a chance where we get two attacks, then I will use lunge, then I will use moonlight, and then we'll go back to substitute. Honestly, the, the big brain shots. And uh, Presno can't go to sleep, of course, because he is a golden goat, and we have the Gudra's Gold uh, ability, which is very strong. That'll probably break the substitute. That was the second of the map. Yep, substitute faded. But it's fine. We'll just reapply it. Okay, so Presno's doing a lot of damage here, I would imagine. Flash Cannon, let's see how much damage he does. There's the Flash Cannon, and boom. Oh, yeah, that's very nice damage. Okay, so we get put in a substitute again. So it's removed negative effects twice so far, I think. And uh, it was probably going to do it again here. Maybe. Okay, honestly, it just feels fun just to substitute. Oh, we got two flash cannons without removing. That's great. Oh, it can't remove anyway. But uh, at least the lunge attack drops in there. I forgot that Golden Go was using Nasty Plot. But this should be a lot easier, this one. Okay, it uses Heavy Slam. Is it going to remove negative effects again? I imagine it does. Substitute faded. That's fine. We'll just reapply it. Okay, so the flash cannon. Boom. Some nice damage. Now uh, it removes negative effects from itself again. What a surprise. Now, uh, honestly, we're so close to doing it that I'm just going to use a go all out here. And then Presno's next attack will do a ton of damage. It will remove negative effects from itself more than likely. And then the attack after that will probably be the KO, because we've given the increased attack damage. So there it is, Flash Cannon, doing a lot of damage there, breaking that shield. It removes negative effects from itself, what a surprise. And uh, you know what? We're going to bring some Moonlight in here. I refuse to finish on low health. Uh, I really really don't like this Snarlax raid, so I want to be on full health when we see the victory on this attack right here. Uh, Presno should be warming up that last attack now. Steals Terror Charge. Steal it. I don't need it. Golden Girl uses Flash Cannon, and now we're just gonna we're gonna watch the scenery as Snarlax gets taken out with half the time remaining. Easy. We better get three Mystica, bare minimum. I'm telling you, better. Better get loads. I get 12, 200. Let's see how many we get. We got two of a Mystica. Okay, that's that's not too bad. But we got the revenge. I refuse. Go another video getting scammed. We needed the revenge. So we take him out. It feels good. It feels good. I never want to see a Snarlax again. I'm sorry, Snarlax lovers, but it's got to be done. But yeah, uh, let me actually, let me change that move back. That was just for that one raid because it got a bit annoying. Uh, let's change that back to Mud Slap. <laughs> there we go. Nothing changed. You didn't see anything. It was for the revenge. It needed to be done. I thought that was a golden hoot hoot then. I was like, shiny, but maybe not. Okay, so uh, there's the revenge. 
If you did enjoy this one, then I know I did. I know I enjoyed that last raid. I'm going to put the last build that we did on screen right now. It was a Medicham, very strong build in multiple uses. Great Pokemon, go check it out. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video. It does go a long way. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more builds. And I'll catch you on the next one.